All right, so we're getting this, right? The answer is going to be negative 600. The field has more than one component, but what did you notice? Did the x component of the field even matter in this case? No, because that gives you that when you calculate the dot product, the x terms are going to give you zero because you have a path that's only in the y direction. So our electric field went something like that. And what did we say B was? B was at uh, 0, 0, 0, C at negative 0, negative 2. Okay. So electric, uh, excuse me, electric field dot, negative electric field dot delta L is delta V. We have then negative of uh, EX, which was uh, negative 200 times the path delta x component, which is 0, right? So delta L is, again, 0, negative 2, 0 meters times 0 plus uh, negative 600, or excuse me, negative 300 times negative 2 plus 0 times 0, all negated. So that's 0, that's 0. This is going to give us a positive 600, and then we multiply it by a negative sign. We get negative 600 volts 